Good day everybody, I'm Shmi, and today I'm back to show you all how I took my Golem brand witch and blew the build wide open. If you're enjoying the content, please hit that like button and feel free to subscribe if you'd like to see more. You see, I was getting a bit sad about the build, because as much as I really love Stormbrand of Indecision, the build peaks around red maps and it struggles to go further. It's a very good zero-budget league starter, but Stormbrand of Indecision falls off hard, and I wouldn't want to try a single pinnacle boss with it. That mindset was what caused me to consider some real changes. That's why I started using Wave of Conviction instead of Crackling Lance. But if I'm going to start swapping skills to test them out, then why not try out a different brand? I'd heard a lot of really good things about Penance Brand of Dissipation, so I picked one up during a lab run and decided to try it out. And, uh, uh, holy hell. This is absolutely bonkers levels of damage. Completely insane. And the one and only change that I made to my build was swapping my one skill gem out for Penance Brand of Dissipation. The more I started tinkering with my gear, the further I kept pushing the damage. Since both Penance Brand and Wave of Conviction deal physical damage, I also was able to grab the perfect taste of hate that I found a while back out of my stash. I got that equipped and now I have it auto-chugging. I discovered in testing that I get a lot more out of cast speed now than gem level, so I swapped around a few pieces of gear. Now I have Penance Brand of Dissipation activating every 0.15 seconds, which is about 7 times a second. And now this build is just obnoxiously powerful, and it's still growing. So I decided to do some playtesting. Just how much damage was I able to put out now? How deep could I push into the endgame content? And, as it turns out, pretty freaking deep. Just by swapping out that one skill gem, I've put the Elder Slayers and Conquerors on farm status. I'm now spamming Maven Witness Tier 16s to scoop up as many Crescent Splinters as quickly as I can. Oh, and my Penance Brand isn't even level 20 yet. First time fighting the Elder with no guides? And, yeah, sure, let's have the Maves witness it. Lol. Easy. And what's really scary is that I still have some really big pushes to make. I haven't gotten much in terms of gear upgrades, but I did pick up this sweet little thing. I've already pushed Enlighten to level 2, which allows me to add back Herald of Thunder into the mix, but just barely. I'm struggling a little bit with my mana because I have so much cast speed, so getting that enlightened to level 3 will smooth out the build a ton and further improve the damage. And while most of the changes have been just amazing, there has been one drawback to the skill change. My clear speed did take a pretty big hit. Stormbrand of Indecision has such a fast cast time that it's a great clear spell and you can speed clear entire maps with that alone. Now, Orb of Storms and Wave of Conviction end up clearing much better than Penance Brand does, so I'm only really using Penance Brand on hard targets. Clearing maps with this build is, is kind of funny to watch. I feel like I'm sweeping, as in with a broom. I'm not sure why, but when I started playing this, that was the image that immediately got stuck in my head, and I just kind of can't get rid of it. So, I guess for now, I'm going to go back to cleaning up Rayclast and uh, mopping up all of the endgame boss fights. Uh, I'm sure I'll be uploading my, my Maven fight very soon. Thank you all for watching, and until next time, take care, Exiles.